All right, guys. So my review on this oven starts with limited space. I got no pantry. I don't even have a closet. I don't have a, um, a range on my countertop because there's really no space for me to even put a stove here. There's a fridge. There's a bunch of stuff. Um, I do use that little two burner thing when I do want to cook something. So this oven here is awesome. The first time I turned it on just to test everything out, I put the thermometer in there. It kept the oven temperature. It got a little high. I was aiming for 375 for my cookies and ended up having to drop it down with nothing in there. Had to drop it down to about 275 um, on the little knobs there. When I put the cookies in, I put them on this first one here that says bake. There's two options, the lower level. Um, I did feel like it was trying to burn my cookies a little bit, but the top part wasn't really cooking and they did come out a little raw in the middle when I tried one, but they weren't bad overall. Turns out I wasn't burning them because this is the bottom and they're still pretty soft. I can poke these. Now, second batch, I put these same amount of time, 14 minutes, which is four minutes over the cook time recommended on the package. These, I did something a little different. So if you notice the color here um, on the top knob, again, it package says 375 to cook them at. So we have the top temperature at about 350, lower temperature about 325, same amount of cook time, 14 minutes. And I think they came out great. Not undercooked in the middle. They came out just right. They have just the right amount of crispiness, but they're not hard. They don't crumble everywhere. All in all, 100%, I recommend this product. Um, can't wait to try out the rotisserie, rotisserie spigot. Is that how you say that? Yeah. And to see what else I can bake. Super excited. Hope you guys buy it.